Moving in. Two for one. Your team has ignited the enemy rift. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the touch of malice. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you exactly how to get it through a series of exotic quest lines. All right, so first thing you want to do is collect five calcified fragments scattered throughout the Dreadnought. There's about 45 that we found so far, so finding five will not be very difficult at all. Once done, return to Eris and she will guide you into the direction of Lord Shax. Once you pick up the legendary sword from him after completing his quest, you can actually do the next part in the Eris Morn Bounty, and that is to go to Bunker War 4 on the mission Prometheus Code and take Take out Brachus. He'll be at the very end. Very easy fight. Kill him. And unfortunately, all she gives you is an artifact. And once you get that artifact, it seems like the quest is at an end. And that is really the reward for it. But in reality, that is not the case. What you want to do is launch up the King's Fall Raid. You don't have to do anything in it. Just launch it up. And Iris Morn will have a quest for you. What you want to do is back out. Go see her. And then once you get the bounty. Or sorry, not the bounty. The quest. You're going to want to go back into the raid and complete all three checkpoints. This includes the Warpriest, Deathsinger, and Oryx. All three of them will drop a special material. As you can see, I just ended up picking up the Blade of Famine from Warpriest. And in a second, I'm going to show you what I got from Oryx. It was the Ravenous Heart. So these are materials used to construct the Touch of Malice. And you're going to need these if you want to progress during this quest. Don't worry though because it's a 100% drop rate on all of these materials so you won't have to regrind any of the raids multiple times. After that, return to Eris and she's going to make you grind a bit. You're going to have to go collect Hadion Flakes and also some Worm Spore. Not very difficult whatsoever, so go ahead and do that. It's very, very easy. Now, the hard part of this quest is collecting 45 Calcified Fragments, and that's what you have to do afterwards. Now, I currently have 30 of them in a guide. If you want to go check those videos out, they're going to be in the top right corner. There's going to be an annotation you can click. So go click that if you want to watch a guide for that, but I might be doing a full-on guide with all 50 in one video coming soon. We'll see how things go, but next step is to go onto the Black Garden Strike, and on the very right side where the boss is, there will be an enemy that spawns at the Taken. You have to kill it. It's very, very simple. It'll spawn once the boss is at low health. Take it out, return to Eris, and... Luckily, there's another step to this. Now, I thought all I got was a stolen rune for completing this, and I was getting a little bit salty, but thankfully, that is not the ending. Once I got that, she had the last final step for me, which says, return to the base on Phobos, kill the wizard, and claim the essence of the feast. And she pretty much says at the bottom of the description there that this is the last step that you need to do. So go over to Mars, and there will be a special mission. It's level 41 quest. 270 light so make sure you're prepared for this i'm sure you all are though if you completed the raid and got all three pieces already so what you want to do is complete it go to the very ending and there will actually be a side boss similar to the strike that spawns once the main boss is at low health kill it and that's pretty much it you go over to eris and collect your beautiful reward the 310 attack scout rifle touch of malice you also get an achievement a trophy and a emblem for completing it absolutely awesome the gun's amazing and i will have a review very shortly that's all for the video guys smash that like button subscribe for more daily destiny content and as always and cool shout